Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and in this video I am going to talk about top 20 note taking tips and tricks. So let's start. The first tip is about bringing information from different sources into your notes. So here I open my Samsung notes, then I will take out this edge panel and then I will open the internet browser in split screen. Now here you can see I search some images on Google. For example, I like this image, but I want this image without these labels and I want it in my notes. So I will press and hold it like this and then I select this option of clip subject from background. So once you select it here, you you can see only the image part is now selected. You can use your S Pen and then you can easily drag here into your notes. So I will bring it here like this and then if you want you can change its size if you want to rotate it. So you can do all your editing. Same way if you want you can also bring text into your notes. So I will just go back from here and then I will just open a website. For example, I open this website and I want uh, this text into my notes. So I will again use my S Pen. I will press and hold this text and I will select it till here. Now same way, press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag here into your notes. So I will bring it here like this. The next tip is about getting any object from a video and insert it into your notes. So I will just select this video and then I will open it in split screen. Now on the other side I will open my notes and here I will start taking notes. Now for example I want a specific object from this video into my notes. So I will just pause this video. So I will pause it and then if you want you can also make it bigger like this. Now for example if if I want this part of a video into my notes. So I will just use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this. So now this part is selected. Now I can easily drag it into my notes like this. And then if you want you can also change its size. So I can change its size then if you want you can rotate it and you can do all your editing. The next tip is about getting data from Microsoft Office apps or Google Workspace apps into your notes. So I will just open uh, Google Sheets and I open here in split screen. Now I will open this analytics dashboard and here I have some data that I want in my notes. So I will just use this air command option then I will use this smart select tool and then I will uh, select the data that I want in my notes. So I will use my S Pen. I will select till here. Now you can see this part is now selected. Now again I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag it into my notes. So here I just drag it like this. And now if you want you can also change its size from here and you can use this data in your notes. The next tip is about pin your notes on your screen. So for example, if you have anything important on your notes that you want to pin on your screen, you can also do it. Just select this air command option, then open this smart select tool. Now select the part of the notes that you want to pin on your screen. For example, I want to pin this part on my screen. So I will just select it like this. Now here you can see we have this option of pin. So just select this pin option. So now you can see the notes are now pinned on my screen. Now even if I close this app, my notes are available on my screen. Even if I open any other app, the pin screen is visible. Now what you can do is you can see this pin screen is taking a lot of space. So you can just select it with pen and then you can also minimize it like this and it will become like very small thumbnail like this. So even if you open any other app, so the pin is still available. If you want to open it, just select it like this and it will become bigger. The next tip is about partially folded mode. So for example, if I change my Z Fold 5 orientation like this and I will partially folded it. So I will just fold it like this and it will automatically open the Samsung notes for me. So here you will see it will open the Samsung notes and here I can start taking notes. So here you can see on this part I can use it as a keyboard and here I have my screen for the notes. The next thing is if you want to use this S Pen on this part you can also do it. So I will just go back from here and then I will select this handwriting option. So once you select it here it will open the writing pad for you and 
and you can use your S Pen to write and it will convert it into the text. The next thing is you can also open apps in pop-up view in this folded mode. So I will just take out this edge panel and then for example I want this internet browser and I will open here in pop-up view. Now here you can see I can access my website and then here I can also uh, drag information from the website for example if I want uh, this image I can easily drag here in my notes as well. If I want some text for example I want to select this text I can select it like this and I can also drag here in this pop-up view as well. Now if you want you can also select it in the split screen mode so here you can see now I have uh, my website here and my notes are here. The next tip is about flex mode panel. So for example if I open my phone in partially folded mode like this it will open the Samsung notes but it will also open the flex mode panel. So I will show you. So for example, if I just select this back button, so here is the flex mode panel. So now you can see we have this touchpad. Now you can see we have this cursor option. On this left side, we have different tools available. For example, uh, you take your notes and you want to take a screenshot. So here is the screenshot tool. Just select it and it will take the screenshot for only this part. The next thing is, for example, if you want to open split screen, just select this split screen option and then here you can see you can open any other app from here. The next tip is about action icons. For example, I open my Samsung notes and here I will write some email ID. Okay, so I will write abc at gmail.com. Now I want to send email to this specific person. So I will just select this back button from here and then I will bring my pen closer to this email ID. So once you bring your pen closer, here you see this email icon appear. Just select it. Once you select it, it will ask you if you want to complete action using Gmail or Outlook. So you can select any of these emails and then you can send email to this specific person. Same way, you can also dial a number. For example, I will write here a number okay so one two three four five six again I will select this back button from here and then I will bring my pen closer to this phone number so I will just bring it like this and here you see this phone icon appear just select it and it will take you to your dialer where you can call to this number same way you can also add a calculator so for example, if I just select uh, this edit option and here I will write some calculation. For example, I will write here 2 plus 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to. Now I want to do this calculation. Again, I will go back from here and then I will bring my pen closer and then here it will show you the calculator icon. So just select it. It will open the calculator with this calculation. It will also show you the answer. So this is how you can use the action icons. The next tip is about voice recording. So you can record your lectures. So here is the attach icon. Just select it and here you have this option of voice recording. Just select it. Once you select it, it will ask you if you want to allow it. So I will just allow it and then it will start recording so you can record your lecture and in the meantime you can also take your notes so once you finish you can just select this stop option from here and your recording will be saved and later you can use it the next tip is about tags so you can add tags to your notes so just select these three dots and here is the tags option now here you can give it any name for example I will give it a name of z45 Okay, and then I just save it. Now, for example, if I go back and then here you can see I have a lot of notes available. Now, if I want to search my notes, I can search it by tag. So here is the search icon. So here you can see it is showing me the recent tags. I can write it or I can search from here. So for example, I select this Z Fold 5. So it will open the same note for me and I can easily access it. The next tip is about scan documents. So you can scan documents and insert it into your notes as well. So just select this attach icon, select this scan option. So it will open the camera and here you can scan any document. I already scan a document. I will just select from this image option. Then I go to gallery and here I have this scan document and I press done. So here you can see I can easily use my scan documents in my notes. The next tip is about page templates. So we have a lot of page templates option available. Just select these three dots then select this page template. So here you can see we have different page templates for example with the lines, 
uh, with dots and then we also have digital planners so if you just select this pdf option from here so here you can see we have a lot of digital planners available for example if i select this one so here you can see we have this class information if i scroll down we have this monthly plan if i scroll down more then we have this weekly plan so you can use this template as well the next tip is about page colors so you can change the page colors as well we have a lot of options just select these three dots and then we have this page settings so here you can see background colors available so you can change the page color from here for example you want pink you want orange different colors available if you want the dark we also have the dark option as well now let's talk about different tools available in samsung notes the first tool is this auto fix shape tool just select it and now you can use your s pen create any shape and it will make it neat for you so for example i make this shape it will make it neat and then i make this arrow so here you can see it will make it neat for me the next tool is about s pen to text tool so if you just select this tool now you can select any language and then whatever you write it will convert it into text so for example i will write here uh, s pen and you can see it will convert it into the text and for example if i write here samsung notes so now it will convert it into the text as well the next tool is this pen tool so we have different pen options available with different thickness and then we have a different line style and then we also have different colors available for example i select this color now i can use my s pen with this color the next thing is you can also use this highlighter we have four different highlighters with different thickness and different opacity and you can also change the color and then you can highlight your writing as well the next thing is you can also change the style so here is the change style tool so you just bring your pen like this and you can see it will change the color and the thickness as well then we have this selection tool so you can select any mode and then you can select whatever you write okay so for example i select this part now if you want you can also straighten it okay and then for example if i again select this handwriting i can change its style i can delete it i can cut it and i can also copy it the next thing is about exporting your notes so you can export your notes in six different formats so just select these three dots and then here you have this option of save as file just select it so here you can see you can save your notes as notes file PDF file, Word, PowerPoint, image file or text file. The next tip is about categorization. So if I just go back from here, so you can see here we have this folder section. So you can create folders according to your semesters and in those folders you can create subfolders according to your subjects. So you can easily categorize your notes. The next tip is about sync option. So you can sync your notes, just go into the settings. So the first option is is about sync with samsung cloud so you can enable this option and you can sync your notes across different samsung devices the next tip is about taking notes over zoom app so i will open zoom and i will start new meeting now i want to take notes during this meeting so i will use my s pen button and i will tap on my screen two times like this so it will open the samsung notes and here i will start taking my notes now you can see that uh, this samsung note is blocking the view behind so i can change the opacity i select this blue bar and then i select this opacity icon and i can reduce the opacity now i can see the video behind and i can take my notes the next thing is you can also uh, do the screen recording so just bring down this quick panel and then select this screen recorder and then you can start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start now you can take notes it will also record your note taking and it will also record the video behind the next thing is you can use this pen as well if you want to highlight something in your video or in your notes and once you finish you can just stop it from here and then later you can access it in your gallery the next tip is about multitasking so you can take 
take your notes and you can open other apps as well. Just take out this edge panel. You can select any app from here. For example, I open this internet browser and I open here in split screen. Now I want another app. So for example, I want this sheets. I can take it from taskbar and I can put here in split screen. So now if I want, I can also bring data from these apps into my notes, for example, from the internet. And then for example, I want uh, this graph from here and I can also insert it into my notes. The next thing is if you want, you can also change its position. You can rotate it like this. You can change the size. For example, you can make notes bigger and here the other apps, you can make them smaller. So you can also make your favorite app combination. Just select these three dots and then select the star icon and then you can add app pair to your taskbar. The next thing is you can open more apps in pop-up view. So for example, if I just take out this edge panel and I want to open another app, for example, I want to open calculator, I can just bring it and I open here in the middle. So app is now open in a pop-up view. So same way I can bring more apps in pop-up view. For example, I want uh, this calendar app and then I can open here in pop-up. So here you can see I have multiple apps open and all of the apps are working perfectly fine. So I can take my notes, I can use different apps. The next tip is about PDF annotations. So you can annotate your PDF files in Samsung notes as well. So I will just go back from here and here you see this PDF icon. So just select it. Once you select it, then you can open your PDF file. For example, I want this PDF file and then I press done. So now my PDF file open in my Samsung notes and here I have all the different tools available. So I can use this pen tool if I want to write in my PDF file. If I want to highlight something, I can use this highlighter tool as well. The next thing is you can also add or delete pages in your PDF file as well. So here you see this page sorter option, just select it and here it will show you all the pages of your PDF file. Now for example, I want to add page after this second page. Then select these three dots and here you see this option of add page. Just select it. Once you select it, here you can select any template and then for example, I select this template. Now you can see after this PDF file, I have this new page and here I can do my note taking. If I want to write something important, I can do it. The next tip is about collaboration. So you can add other people to participate in your note taking. Just select these three dots, then select this invite collaborators and from here you can select share link or choose contacts. So I select share links. So once you select the share link option, it will create a link for you and then you can copy that link and share it with your friends, with your colleagues. So here is this link. You can just copy it and then you can share it and other people can also participate in your note taking. The next tip is about drawing. So we have drawing option also available in Samsung notes. Just select this attach icon and here we have this drawing. So once you select it, it will open a new dashboard and here we have different tools available. So you can use these drawing tools. So here you can see we have different brushes we can use. We have different pencils and then we have different colors options. So you can select any color from here. And once you finish, you can press done and it will add it into your notes. The last thing is about sharing. So once you finish with your note taking, you can also share it. So just select these three dots and then here is the share icon. So just select it and then it will show you the formats that you want to use. For example, I want in the PDF file, so it will create a PDF file for your notes and then you can share it in different platforms. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.